Thank you for stopping by the Random Green Channel. Now today I wanted to go over the 2024 University of Washington Gridiron schedule and my predictions and my thoughts. Yes, so Kalen DeBoer, as you know, Kalen DeBoer went to the University of Alabama to be the head coach there after Nick Saban left. Now, Jed Fish, I think that's Jeb or Jed, I think it's Jed Fish, or Fish, uh, came from uh, the Arizona Cardinals. He's, he's, he's going to lead the 2024 Washington Huskies. He'll be the head head ball coach there. And uh, did pretty good. I mean, Arizona improved under uh, his leadership. So we'll see. Will it be as good as they were last year? I mean, you lose a, a really good quarterback. <laughs> really good quarterback the NFL, I mean, and, you know, you reload, and we'll see if uh, the next next players can step up. The receiver, the, the receiver, I can't remember. The receiver went to Chicago Bears. Off the top of my head, I can't remember his name. Uh, Michael Penix was the quarterback, by the way. Uh, junior, Michael Penix Jr. Um, I think he won the Heisman. Maybe he didn't, I don't know. <laughs> Hard to keep track. Uh... I'm not getting paid millions of dollars to do this, so it's hard to keep track of the athletes where they all go. But anyway, Washington loses. Uh, I think a lot were drafted, like Michigan and Alabama. So the last few <clears throat> videos I did for those my predictions on those teams. So Jed Fish is taking over the helm, and I'll get right into the schedule. They open up uh, with Weaver State at home against against Weaver State. <laughs> Uh, they should win that game on paper. We, Weaver State's a good FCS program. They really are. And you never know what you're uh, going to get with these uh, uh, FCS programs because they're good. you know. And uh, I think they're going to beat them. Want to know, Eastern Michigan at home, a win. Eastern Michigan's not really a terrible team, and they're a decent MAC team. And then Washington State goes to Husky Stadium, plays them early right off the bat. I mean, you know, third game of the year because Washington State left the Big 12 to go. Well, it had to go leave the Big 12 or, or the Pac-12, the Pac-12, because the, the it di disbanded the Pac-12. It, it's no longer a football conference, uh, gridiron football conference. And uh, like I say, they are in the Mountain West with Oregon State, so they are going to play due to scheduling, obviously, because Washington's in the Big Ten. Uh, they will win against Washington State, so 3-0. Then they open up their Big Ten play against Northwestern at home, another purple team. 4-0. Uh, at Rutgers. At Rutgers. Rutgers, man. I mean, I, I wish I could say that they would... Uh, Rutgers is going to be good, I think. Uh, Greg Schiano again, is improving that ball club during a second stint. Rutgers, uh, but I think Washington will find a way to win, 5-0. and Then they play Michigan at home. They'll get revenge, 6-0. and Then at Iowa, tough place to play, and they win, 7-0. and Bye. They have a bye. Then they play at Indiana University. Hoosiers win. Win against Indiana. USC comes into town. Win. So they win. Then at Penn State, everything changes. And I say that's a – they find out how good Penn State really is at their place. And uh, get walloped. Maybe not like that bad. Maybe three touchdowns. I think just just the fact that they're going over there, uh, you know, that's a pretty far stretch. You know, you're playing the Pac-12. You're not used to. Uh, obviously, their if it's their first time, but it's hard to go across the country and play at their stadium right after you. You know, it just it's going to be a different thing, especially if these players, you know, that played in the Pac-12, which a lot of them did, obviously, but you know, New Year and. Uh, it's going to be tough to go all the way over there 
I could be wrong, but that's their first loss of the year. Then they beat UCLA at home. Then they have a bye. Then they play at Oregon, and that'll be a battle, but I think Oregon will prevail, and they'll go 10-2. and two. And I think that's gonna it's gonna be one of those that's like they're ten and two, and I don't think they'll I don't think they'll I think they'll be I think they'll be on the border of getting in the playoffs. I mean there'll be twelve teams, and uh, but there's so many teams out there that there's only there's like I said there's twelve or twelve twelve sixteen twelve or sixteen teams this year. I think I think it's twelve, but I think they get left out. They don't play the Big Ten title game. I think it'll probably be Ohio State and Oregon. So I think uh, ten and two. And uh, they get into a bowl game and win. So, hey, a double-digit win. And that's pretty good considering they, the athletes they lose. And But, again, they could reload and do better. Who knows? It's a prediction. So, thank you all for stopping by the channel.